It's the Week 13 Championship match between Nodos and Tin Cup for the right to go to the Golden T-Mobile World Championship in Las Vegas, Nevada. Hi, everyone. I am Chad Shrump, and this match should be absolutely incredible. We are playing on one of the best head-to-head -head courses in all of Golden Tee, Volcano Palms Back 9. Joe Goldschmidt and Jason Smith. You know both of those players. They've been very active in the World Championship qualifying. Last year, Joe made it to the championship, and Jason just missed out several times. So Joe is off the tee and into the fairway of this par 5. That's right, Volcano Palms back nine starts with a par 5. Both players have driven to about the same spot in this fairway. Jason had to be relieved to see a back nine come up instead of a front nine setup. Here is his first shot, just lands it onto the green. Very nice. That will be an easy eagle. Here is Joe with a sniper, 96%, bending well right, but that will be an easy eagle for Joe. But to my point, the front nines, Joe Goldschmidt has been ridiculous. Just simply ridiculous. Stinger Fest, he is very, very good. Jason has to feel like this is his best opportunity to get into the Golden T-Mobile World Championship in Vegas. Now, Joe is no slouch on this course. I'm just saying that this is a good chance for Jason. I have no idea who wins. Joe may win by five. We will find out, but I doubt it. And we are off on the par four. Dog leg left. Here is Jason's look in with a javelin. Just wants to clear this green. Get on there. Let it run and just misses to the left. Good shot from no dose. Joe with another sniper trying to get the distance dialed in. And he does. That is going to be an easy birdie putt. There's the birdie for Jason. And Joe will tap in the eight footer. And we move on to hole 12, drivable par four. How does this setup look? Joe with another sniper. That is three in three holes. Let's see if Jason gets aggressive with a javelin. He does not. He will use the sniper. Takes the 320 driver and gets it down to the cup. That should be big points. It is almost 21,000 great shot points for Jason Smith. The product of North Carolina has put this ball perfectly on this green within six feet, big points. Joe will have this for Eagle and Jason takes a slight golden tee, great shot point advantage. That is our tiebreaker if we were tied in strokes after nine holes. Hole 13, par five. Joe will try to hit this way up this fairway. Does he clear the rough? Barely does. He is in the first cut. Jason will go the conventional route, which is the left side island. That is a tough play with where that pin is. Let's see what he does. The wind will help him here. Sniper in, center of the bow tie green, and he should have a 50-footer for Eagle. Here's Joe's one iron. Just past the tree. Does it get up? It does not. He will have a chip from the sand, but first, Jason, with a 60-footer for Eagle that he buries. Big putt for Jason. Huge chip now for Joe, and it goes long and a little bit right. So our first real advantage goes to Jason Smith. One-stroke lead plus great shot points as we head to the par three. Jason will use a sniper. Very difficult go at this with a javelin. It has to be absolutely perfect. And there's lava right behind. It is just simply a ridiculous play if you try that shot. Both players will be smart. Use the snipers. Joe has hit a sniper on almost every shot he has hit. Matter of fact, he has hit a sniper on every single approach thus far. Quite the contrast to how he has been playing the front nines using javelins almost exclusively. That is the difference 
between a front nine and a back nine, especially in Volcano, an absolute true test of your Golden Tee Mobile talent, your powers, whatever it may be. Joe is simply great. But this brings Jason back into the fold when you don't have to count on stingers going in every time. Here is Joe with another sniper into the green. Jason will go with the javelin, the eight iron, hoping to land right of the pin and let this left green bring it in. It hits the rough and kicks left a little short, but that is a good shot. So here is a birdie for Joe. Tim Cup is in, and now no dose is in. Hole 16, still plenty of holes to play. Three to go and three tough holes to go. Jason, one stroke lead on the tee. Hits his drive into the first fairway. We'll have a longer shot coming in. Joe will go all the way to the third fairway. And he is just, where is he? That is a huge shot coming up. Here is Jason Smith. Grabber over the volcano. Down up into the fringe. He will have a chip. Where is Joe? Is he in the rough? He looks like he is. This will be tough. Maniacs in. Big hop. Bounds down. And it was going to be tough. Had to try to make that shot work. He did not get it into the fairway. It is in the rough. No other ball would really work in this situation. Tried to use a Maniacs, and it took off on him. Here is a huge chip for Jason. Bingo! Jason Smith, huge lead now with an eagle chip. He is on his way. Grabber right into the jar. Joe, huge chip here, really needs to have this. He hits it long. He will have a par putt and is facing a three-stroke deficit with only two to play. It is go time for Joe Goldschmidt. Must make from here on out. Jason Smith, seven wood javelin. What a chip on that last hole. This is a little short, but that will be a birdie. Joe has to make this shot. He is also going with the seven wood javelin. Hits it 94%. That gets there. Is it in? Oh, just passed. To the right. Could be great shot points. No. 11-footer now for Jason. Jason Smith is one hole away from qualifying for the Golden Tee Mobile World Championship. Three-stroke lead, hole 18. Jason on the tee. Grabber over the palm trees. It's going to land softly, right? Here it bounces into the fringe. He should be fine. He doesn't know that at this moment, but he will shortly. Here is another sniper from Joe. Up and over. Very nice shot from Joe. All Jason needs to do is get up and down, and he is in. There you go. Jason Smith, you have done it. You are the Week 13 qualifier. You have punched your ticket to the Golden Tee Mobile World Championship. A perfectly clean round on Volcano Palms.